Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day. It's Wednesday, October 5th. We got a few economic news releases to go over today, some big ones, actually. So we'll start off with the ADP employment for last month. And uh, this is basically gives us an idea what the private job sector is doing. So the previous month, back in August, we had 175,000 new jobs created. September dipped down to about 154, so not really as good. They like to see a little bit higher. This is kind of like the prelude for our big numbers that we're looking for um, from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, statistics uh, that will be released on Friday. Uh, that will be the big number. This is kind of important data that the Fed's going to be using that will help gauge if they're going to raise rates or not. So uh, a lot of investors will be waiting until Friday's numbers come up. But this kind of gives us kind of like a little sneak peek, so to speak, out there. Uh, also, we got the Market 9 Manufacturing PMI, which is the services and uh, one of the service index indices out there. Excuse me, I'm having a hard time pronouncing that. Uh, so back in August, we had a 51. So anything above 50 is basically considered expansion, anything below that. So it's kind of try line there. And it had a small uh, incremental uh, increase to 52.3. So pretty good number right there. Uh, another index is also ISM 9 Manufacturing, also ISM Services. Uh, so we had 51.4, again, treading line back in uh, August. Uh, forecast was supposed to have uh, 53.1, supposed to go up a little bit, and exceed that, 57.1. So investors really like this. Uh, obviously, uh, this is a bigger jump than showing what the market came in at, but both are uh, uh, indicators of what the uh, service industry, industry is showing us. And uh, uh, regardless, it's actually going up, so that's a good uh, sign for economy. And, of course, uh, as you'll see coming ahead, the investors will like that. Factory orders uh, came in a little bit better than expected. As you can see, in July, we had 1.4% uh, increase in the factory orders. Uh, forecast is supposed to taper down to contract by 0.1%, and it, it was up 0.2%. So a decent number there, better than expectation anyways, uh, for factory orders for the month of August. So a jump here. Uh, stock market's up. They really like that uh, sign there with the... Um, with the uh, ISM services, especially that big jump on the ISM one on there. Uh, also, they're basically kind of looking at oil. Oil has been going up. Uh, it's up to about 50 bucks now per barrel. So they're kind of like that. So as a result, uh, you know, uh, energy prices are doing much better as a result. And then uh, late in the day, uh, some news that came in late in the day, uh, both markets, as we'll see here later, um, the bond market uh, went downwards as well as the stock market w went. It was because there's a... A report that came out that the ECB will be tapering on their uh, mortgage, on their uh, bond buying program, on their QE uh, program, and of course, you know, they're, the investors were concerned about the lack of liquidity out there uh, by them doing so. So as a result, you know, both the stock market and the bond market took a turn for the worse yesterday. So let's go ahead and take a look here. As you see, we're now seeing a trend downwards here. Uh, as I was saying, it was best if you're playing in this range, this is about the highest we had, it would be best to lock in. So hopefully you guys took advantage of that. Now we broke between below the 10-day, 25, and 50-day moving average. As you can see, here's the 50-day moving average here. And our next support here will be the 100. We're pretty close to touching off of it. Uh, hopefully we stay above it and keep in this range here. But uh, just be very cautious here that uh, we, we stay above the 100-day moving average. As we say, ha we've been pretty successful with it so far. We've gone down as low as the 100-day moving average before we worked up again. And this could be another scenario where we will do the same thing. All right, folks. Uh, so basically, pricing did worse yes yesterday as well as today. So pricing is worse. Uh, as a result, we are having a downward trend, which is basically resulting in a uh, little higher interest rates today. All right, folks, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll get uh, some uh, weekly jobless claims. And I think, if I remember right, the PCE will be coming out, which is the personal consumption expenditure, which is the Fed's favorite gauge. Gauge. Uh, you know, I, I'm sorry, that's not out. Uh, that was last week, so sorry about that. That's when it went up to 1.7%. Excuse me. But anyways, I uh, hope weekly jobless claims will be out tomorrow. And also, if you guys like to uh, receive... Uh, updates throughout the day i do post on my twitter account at mike bjork so if you want to uh, receive uh, more information throughout the day go ahead and uh, stay tuned to mike bjork at twitter take care bye bye, bye, -bye.